What's up guys, Captain Rick Stanzik here, and we're prepping for Tropical Storm Ada. Bud and Mary's here, things have emptied out a little bit, guys are getting a few of their boats out of here uh, that are a little worried about a lot of rain coming. Um, most of the big boats are staying in their slips. Um, looks like we're probably going to get maybe 50, 60 mile an hour winds tops. Could be a good amount of rain, but we might get lucky. Mid-November, kind of a crazy time to get a hurricane. Usually this stuff's done by, uh, you know, mid to end of October. So, strange times we're living in. Um, I'm gonna walk you around the property today, take a look at things that are prepped, and then we're gonna come back down here tomorrow in the heart of the beast. See what the wind's doing, see how the rain is. If you guys can get a first-hand look at some tropical storm conditions here in Isla Mirada at Bud and Mary's Marina. So all I did is I just put down most things that fly around near my boat, buckets and stuff, tied a few extra lines on my boat and my lift here, and I think we're good to go. I did sink my lift down uh, a little bit lower than I normally keep it, just to keep this uh, roof down a little bit more out of the wind, but it does real well in the, in the high winds. Uh, I've been very impressed with this lift so far. Feel very safe keeping my boat on the hydro hoist. All right, so yeah, we're walking around here. Really worried about these houseboats. Um, they're just right on the edge of the ocean, you know. So if we get a really hard south wind, it's going to be trouble for these houseboats. Um, we made the choice not to move them into the mangroves because what we saw didn't look like it warranted it. And it's a pretty big process, you know, to get everything uh, like that moved out of here. So we're hoping and praying that uh, we don't get that hard south wind condition. Um, looks like we might be spared and uh, we might actually get wind from the opposite direction, which would be nice because, uh, you know, then the storm will be blowing north, you know, from the north, winds coming from the barn, going out to sea, doesn't bother us at all here. Charter boats here, tied up real good. A couple boats pulled out. Um, one of them might be in the yard, so good place for them to be anyways. Getting these skiffs up nice and high that are staying in here, but a lot of them are gone. We're ready for a hurricane. Thank you. That's some old school Cuban knowledge. Oh you better listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're all ready for the storm. All right, guys. This is the day, storm's rolling in. It's supposed to get uh, the worst tonight, um, but just gonna kind of progressively get nastier and nastier. You can see it's pretty ugly out there. The wind's still out of the east, northeast, so it's kind of coming this way, which is very good for us for now. 
Our main worry though is if this storm keeps heading south of us, which the last update it looked like it was, then we're on the dirty side of the storm. And uh, that's when we get the winds coming from the ocean south southerly. They're gonna be a lot more intense and being right on the ocean, you get you know much more swells and, and uh, just a bad wind, you know, for everything on the ocean side here. So hopefully it's not as bad as uh, as, as it possibly could be. Um, but you just don't know. A lot of guys pulled their boats out, but there's a good handful of boats that left, uh, you know, left the boats in the slip. I got everything tied up real tight on my boat and rack. I'm going to show you that here in a second. Um, but hopefully it doesn't end up being too much for us. It's been a hell of a year. So you can see I put some extra ropes on top of the top for my hydro hoist lift just to keep that top on there. Um, I could have taken the whole thing off, at least the canvas part, but um, it's held up to some pretty strong winds before and it's a bit of a pain to get off of there. So I'm just rolling the dice, gonna hope it makes it through. Worst comes to worst, might have to buy a new, new uh, canopy top, but hopefully it'll be all right. So it, how we normally have this lift tied up, it's got ropes going to each corner, piling in each corner of the rack. But what I did additionally is I put a couple ropes going to the boat from each side. And then there's also a couple ropes going to the lift from each side too. So this thing's buckled in here pretty tight. Um, it can go up and down with the tide and uh, won't get trapped under anything. And those ropes should keep that lift, uh, the top of the lift from getting over top of these pilings, which is my main concern. But I've been impressed with this thing so far, so it's gonna really get put to the test. We'll show you guys what the aftermath looks like uh, in a few days here. Hey, look at her. Yeah. Look at her, look at her. Sandy, you ready to drive the boat? Say, are you gonna take this thing out in a hurricane? It's no problem. She'll be getting into our snacks, but eat all our snacks. <laughs> so they're getting some extra lines on everything that's in the marina here. They might be important. The bird is having to come into a real slip. She don't want to stay out there on the end of the end of the big dock. You know it's bad. All right, guys, it's about 11 o'clock on Sunday. Tropical Storm Ada hitting the Florida Keys. Uh, things are just starting to get real here. Check out those palm trees up there blowing. It's a good solid 35, 40 miles an hour, maybe approaching now. Um, gonna get a little worse, hopefully not too much worse. Like I said, a lot of these boats uh, pulled out, but there's a handful tied up in the marina still. Everyone's got double ropes, triple ropes, secured as snug as they'll go. And uh, gonna be an adventure. All right, I'm in the barn here, and I wanna show you what it's like when I walk past this protected wall here. It's crazy. Ooh, I'm sure you can hear that wind blowing, but look at this. That's the Bean's houseboat. He's in the belly of the beast out there. Hopefully it's gonna be all right. the ropes and lines on the houseboats here.
oftentimes we pull these things out you know and tie them up in the mangroves but we made the call not to it didn't look like it was going to be quite so bad that it was going to be necessary aqua lodge is in a safer spot being on the inside of the basin here but these outside houseboats they might have a little rougher time of it Hopefully the lucky lady is going to make it through okay. hoist lift is looking good so far I went ahead and put extra ropes over the top of it just to hold that canopy top on um, I could have taken that thing off but went ahead and just rolled the dice I think it's gonna be okay on there um, it's made it through some pretty good storms before but this might be a true test Alright, the guide dock is pretty empty. Still got my old sea craft under here. We went ahead and just lifted it up real high and uh, should be okay. It would take a lot to make these boats uh, rock and roll in here, but for most guys it's better safe than sorry. Look at that water, it's all turned to mud. Whew, you can really see what those waves and the wind's doing from up here. Saw the boys putting some extra lines on the Catch-22, my uncle's boat. They got plenty on the gone fishing. Look, they put a rope all the way to the end of the fuel dock there. So, we're prepared. Hopefully it's not going to be too bad, too crazy. Alright, I'm going to try to send the drone up before the wind gets too nuts. I've not done it before in this kind of wind, but hopefully show you guys uh, what it looks like from, uh, from up above. guys so I tried to fly the drone it was a big mistake luckily I got it back amazingly um, just some quick reactions uh, not that I'm the greatest drone pilot in the world but I'm all right at it um, I tried to take the thing off right here and you can see these trees blowing and once it got to like a certain altitude it just started flying you know like the wind was dragging it dragging it almost hit the roof there almost hit that palm tree I had a little window to land it and I landed it on the big deck up there. Um, I was just holding that button down like, come on down baby, and I got it back. So, you live, you learn. I was excited to try it, but 
I won't be doing it again in winds like this. Sun's setting out there in the west, covered up by clouds. It was uh, a lot gnarly earlier. It's about six o'clock in the evening now, Saturday night. Um, winds have calmed down a little. Worst might still be yet to come. The uh, track looked a little more favorable for us. Uh, it pushed it a little more out to the south, you know, onto the ocean, so it looks like it may make landfall a little closer to Key West and hopefully won't have any intense uh, strengthening until then. It's about nine o'clock at night. Uh, we're getting near the eye wall here of uh, this uh, tropical storm, Ada. Um, it's dark, but you can see in here how hard it's blowing. Woo, that's for real right there. I'm gonna try to run down to the marina and just get a few uh, safe shots and see what we can see. Woo! Bean, what do you think about this? I think that we are rocking and rolling. It's, it's ripping down. out here. Oh Wind's my. still north, so it's a good direction for us. Probably for a few more hours. And then it's gonna be switching south. But it should be a little calmer then, so hopefully not as bad. But right now, the wind coming this way is coming kind of from the bay. It's not as bad here on the ocean side for the boats and for the marina and the docks and everything. So it's good for us right now. But, whoa, the power. power just went out. Yeah. It's getting a little dicey out here. All right, we're at the Beans House boat. You might recognize it from the uh, Mangrove Snapper Ceviche video. Beans got a little damage here. The straightening boards that go along with the dock, this one broke off. Uh, that was not a good start to a long night. Yep. Did you hear that? Oh yeah, that's whistling. Woo. Look at this boat. Look rock. at Vic's houseboat. A rocket. Things are rocking and rolling here. It's going to be a long night, um, but hopefully this storm uh, doesn't intensify too much. We're just getting into the worst of it now. All right, so the contender looks like it's doing fine. Again, though, with that wind from the north, it's coming this way, so it's, uh, it's very protected here. Once it swings around and it's coming this way, totally different ball game. But for now, she's doing good. So far, so lucky. This is just an example of how hard these trees are blowing. It's hard to see out here because it's nighttime. Major, major wind here. Luckily, we cut all the coconuts off. Yeah, that's always a uh, important Important thing to do down here, trim your coconuts. Trim your nuts. That's right. <laughs> Woo. I think we're gonna be all right though. Forgot about that. Yeah. Check on the old Everything's looking good. Sea craft is good. Jimmy Wilcox, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at this mud, just straight mud. Oh my god, mud hole. Looks like the uh, Mount Bangram are now going tide. It does. A couple of tarpon here, Pete. You 
you cannot see them unless like they're within like four inches of the surface. I mean, yeah, tarpener hard. here, but yeah, you you can't see them. You can't you see can, anything in there. You can feel like the sediment of water when I put my hands in there. Like it just feels like grainy. Unbelievable. I've never seen that such a mud hole in here. Wow. Power's starting to kind of kick in and out a little bit here. The cable TV was even a little fuzzy at home trying to watch some football. I did like that Dolphins game, though. I don't know if y'all are Dolphins fans, but we are. How about them Dolphins? How about them? How about them Dolphins, baby? All right, here's the party boat, Miss Island Murata. We're taking a look at her here. Lots of ropes on this uh, old girl. She's a beauty, ain't she? Yep. All right, things are looking good here. Is that Scott? Is that Dr. Scott? It might be. Let's see what he has to say. Put him on the, uh, put him on the show. Oh, it's Nicky! Uh, it's Nicky! Oh, it's Nicky! Look at it! Come down here and look what's down here! <laughs> Woo! Anything Alright guys, Sunday morning. It got pretty gnarly last night between 1 and 3 uh, a.m. I'd say. Uh, the wind kicked around. We got on the back side, the dirty side of the storm. And uh, I'm not going to say I was a little nervous at home. Uh, but again it was uh probably maybe category one level winds uh it's hard to say but it was definitely more than what we had earlier in the night and uh different direction came much more from the south southeast i think so a little bit worse for the marina here but everything looks okay you know at first glance i'm gonna go check my boat out now see what's happening there All right, good to see her floating and uh, and well, I wouldn't have even known anything happened except uh, my lights flashing up there, but that's just probably because the cord became uh, came pulled out a little bit. Top looks okay. The harbor hoist did the trick. Um, yeah, it really looks like you wouldn't have known anything happened here. those ropes were definitely a good move though when I turned the security cameras on you could tell it was it was getting some action over here but yeah this all looks good <clears throat> yeah yeah that was just the cord getting loose but yeah I think we're good I think we're real good Yeah, just incredible. Uh, I mean, yeah, you wouldn't have even known a storm came through. Boat looks like uh, it sat real nice in here. I don't see any damage at all. Pilings look good. The rooftop, which is what I was most concerned about, is uh, is perfect. You know, one little piece tore off there. Um, that's it. But yeah. Um, yeah, makes me feel real safe about leaving my boat on this thing in a uh, tropical storm or low-level hurricane. Still a good bit windy here. Looks like it will be for the rest of the week, but the houseboats look uh, okay too, from what I can tell. little damage here but pretty minor all right all in all I think it was uh, about as good as we could hope for yeah things don't really look too bad at all up oh, cloud nine lost his sign still on the ground there so all it needs to be done is put it back up
Sea craft is good. Nice. Ricardo, I think we got lucky. Oh yeah, 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 we got lucky, Ricky, yeah, thanks God. Good. Yeah, not too uh not too much damage. We uh we started a disaster. So that feels good. Last thing we needed this uh then this crazy year. <laughs> Slip there. All right, well, we skirted disaster, like I said. Um, I think the eye went over us like uh, around midnight ish because it definitely got nastier. 10 o'clock last night, and that's when I came down and we showed you a little bit what was going on power went out in the barn there and some high winds but more northerly then the eye went over and it actually got really calm and nice and then again like one o'clock in the morning till I don't know three or so it uh it started ripping again and the wind was more southeast that was the nastiest time wind coming more off the ocean uh, a lot of rain and uh yeah you can see the direction still like palm trees are blowing back towards the bay that's always the hardest wind here when you're on the ocean because it's coming right down you know from the ocean you get bigger swells bigger waves that was also kind of high tide i think was three in the morning so anyways uh we got lucky here guys we're back open today so don't worry about anything um hopefully that'll be the last storm we have to worry about this year and uh we'll get you out here fishing soon all right guys thanks for watching make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel to see more fishing videos and storm videos and everything that goes on down here at bud and mary's